So were you one of the folks affected by the numerous showers and thunderstorms that developed across the state of Ohio on Monday? Let's take a look at this animated radar image. I want to show you two things on here. You've heard of an outflow boundary associated with thunderstorms. Down here in southwestern Ohio, you can see as it moves to the southeast, this little outflow boundary you can see right here in southwest Ohio. You can see the yellow circle circling, pointing that out to you. And also another thing that you want to take a look at on here, the guidance the winds aloft in the atmosphere, northeast Ohio or northeast Columbus around I-270, a thunderstorm developed there with a copious amount of rain. Didn't move hardly at all, as you can see on the animation during the same time period that the outflow boundary was occurring. This radar imagery showed in the estimates almost two and a half inches of rain fell in a short period of time because of that stationary thunderstorm. Can it happen again today and tomorrow? Could because the humidity in the winds aloft are pretty stagnant. The humidity is really up there. Heat is going to be up there as well. As you can see on our future view map, we don't really have too much going on. High pressure across West Virginia. You can see scattered showers and thunderstorms developing across most of the board, mainly because of the afternoon heating and the humidity and the atmosphere. Things could pop up like popcorn at any time. You could be underneath one of those stationary thunderstorms and get a lot of precipitation dumped on you. Now your traveler's forecast for the state of Ohio for the day on Wednesday looks like this. Mainly fair skies, but again, there could be a pop-up thunderstorm here and there, just about anywhere. Daytime highs across the board, upper 80s to the lower 90s. And will the heat break anytime soon? Take a look at your five-day forecast and take a peek. So as you can see, no, there's no break in the heat in store at all. Daytime highs up radius to low 90s across the entire board. But I tell you, compared to what we could have three months from now, I'll take it.